It's me, Katherine Chloe Cahoon. Today I'm going to show you the steps to creating a Blake Lively look with the help of my friend Janelle, the braid goddess. First, side part your hair and do a reverse French braid starting on the fuller side. Take three narrow strands of hair and following the curve of your head, begin placing each one under the other to create the braid. Add more hair to each strand as you go along. In other words, you start by putting the right strand under the middle one and then putting the left strand under the new middle. Keep going until you reach the back of your head, then clip the ends. You'll notice that when Janelle adds hair to the braid, she brings in enough to use the remaining hair on that side of your head. So the hair on the nape of your neck is all pulled up into the braid, and the hair from the crown is all added into it too. Second, near the part line on the opposite side of your head, leave out a section of hair about one inch wide starting at your face. Just beyond that, take about a one centimeter hunk of hair and make a standard braid. You do this by dividing the hair into three sections and repeating right over left, left over right, until you reach the end. Third, hold on to that end with one hand while you scrunch up each section of the braid with the forefinger and thumb of your other hand. Secure the end with a little rubber band. Fourth, return to your reverse braid and finish it off by changing to a fishtail braid. Fishtails look elaborate, but they're actually easy. When I helped create an award-winning garden at the Northwest Garden Show, I wore this look. The only difference was that I wanted a color-infused braid, so I incorporated yarn. To create a fishtail, divide your hair into two pieces. Take a strand of hair from the outer edge of the left piece Pull it over the rest of that piece and combine it with the right piece. Then repeat those steps on the right. Keep doing this on alternating sides until you run out of hair. Use a small hair band to secure the end. This is all Janelle is doing in this stage of my bohemian look. Now all you have to do is finish it off. On the side of your face with the reverse French braid, pull out tiny strands of hair and curl them. Next curl the hair you left out on the opposite side. Then loosely swoop half of the strands on that side back to your reverse braid and pin them in. Spray it all and you're set for a bohemian adventure. What I love about this look is that it's creative. You get to use a variety of braid techniques and it looks amazing from every angle. I wore Janelle's creation all day and to an evening party. I even went to workout class and was caught in a rainstorm. And you know what? It didn't matter. You really can't ruin this look because the more strands that fall out, the more bohemian inspired your braid becomes. 